I will share with you two nice tips and tricks that I'm using uh, very often. And uh, I found that it's very predictable regarding the cavity preparation when we restore the class to cavities. So uh, regarding, so depending on how we prepare the cavity, the matrix will stay better in, uh, in, the, in the daily cases, in the cases that they are not so difficult. So these tips, they are working mostly in the cases that they are not uh, subgingivalis, so deep cavities. So let's go and see. I will explain to a case. Uh, this is the beginning of the case. So the first premolar, I decide to change the restoration here. We see the restoration like this. So why I decide to change the restoration? The contact point is not so bad. So we have a contact point there. But this area is concerning about uh, it could be their uh, decay and also the morphology. It's not uh, not so natural. So I isolate with rubber dam. I start always with the class two with isolating before with the rubber dam and I prepare the cavity under the rubber dam. So we see better the composite now. We see that it's in this area. OK, I remove the composite. And this is the first uh, the first stage. So we see it's a rough uh, prep, uh, cavity preparation. So now I decide if I have to prepare more, I have to change something to my restoration. So when class two wants my first tip is um, I'm looking how open is the cavity uh, of the preparation. So here there is a contact. So if there is a contact, when I place the matrix and the matrix is like this, the matrix, it's more difficult to go in in this area. So you know that the, uh, the, the matrices for uh, posterior, they are not so stiff, they are not so uh, rigid. So one rule when we do a, a class two restoration is that the matrix stay non-changeable. So the shape that is in the matrix, that it's be convex, okay, to stay during our the composite restoration. In this way, the, the composite will be nice and we have a nice morphology on the proximal area. So my first question is how I can place that matrix in the proximal and to be as it is from the uh, from the factory. So one is to open to open uh, the proximal uh, walls like this. So open. In this way, the matrix, the matrix can go easily smoothly and you will have a nice contour done with the um, matrix and the uh, and the cavity so my first tip is to look at these points to be open so in this way the matrix will stay nicer this is one the second tip that works um, and is uh, important i saw that it's very important it's how it's stay the matrix as a fit on the cervical area, so in this area. The most important thing is how is the outline of this area. Probably you saw in some cases that the matrix stay nice there and you have a nice fit and in some cases you don't have this, uh, this uh, outcome. And I put the, my, this question to myself and I found that it's very important how is this line it's smooth or not if it's not smooth for sure the matrix will stay not smooth okay so this why have to be very nice and smooth this area if it's concave you know prob probably you have some cases with this concave how you say the matrix the matrix will stay in this way okay so how you solve this you can use a wedge a special wedge that the matrix is pushing toward this area or another tip and trick that it's uh, could be useful is to change this shape yes how to change the shape you remove a little bit from here and from there so then you will change the area the proximal area to be more straight so in this way the matrix will stay better in contact with the proximal uh, wall the proximal uh, um, uh, the proximal part of the cervical area so first trick is open the cavity. The second to have a nice 
smooth and fit here of the of the enamel or wh what is there the dent in enamel what is uh, what it is so the matrix will stay nicer and you have a nice fit so let's go to see the cavity here we can see i don't like a little bit this part it's a little bit concave but it's not so it's a big deal okay so the matrix is nice and we see here it's a good fit it's a good fit but here it's a little bit gap it's a small gap it's not some something that we have to be in concern because it's out we can go with the instrument and we can finish in uh, in that area but why this happened is because you saw pre in the previous slide here it's a little bit concave so the matrix will stay like this so there will be um let's go with white if there is a gap there okay so now restore the proximal wall and the cavity is finished i get the contact point here nice fit of the proximal area nice morphology and the final outcome good thank you very much and uh, keep in touch with the next videos